What's up out there, YouTube land? This your boy Telfel come back at you, and uh, today I'm going to kind of give you the tutorial about the hen and the ISO loader. Cause um, you know, yesterday I was you know celebrating with my family and stuff. So pretty much, I'm going to give you the ISO loader and the hen. So pretty much that's it. You're gonna have to get the paddle pond download and save game. So pretty much all you gotta do is go to PSPSlimHacks.com and that's where I get all my stuff and just download the R109 whatever. I mean not R109 but the paddle pond and the save. And pretty much the pack I give you is gonna be everything else. See the pack that I give you is gonna have that and that and the ISO loader. So the ISO loader you gonna have to put into the PSP games and that's it right there. The ISO loader right there. That's it. Put it in games. That's it. Put the folder after you extract it into PSP games. And then the actual the hen is gonna be this and this right here this is the root of your folder put those two at the root of your folder and then you will have to create an ISO file to the root of your folder of your memory card and then put the games in like that that's what the CSOs and ISOs are supposed to look like right there right there so that's it and then you should be ready that's all you need people it's, it's just so simple so I shouldn't have to see people ask me questions on how to do it and everything else. I just showed you right here. Just pay attention to the to the video. That's it. But um, pretty much, I'm gonna show you what it does. All you're gonna have to do is go to the powder pond, like usual. No, yes, and then. Wait, press any key, and then the right trigger, and then it should load up back to the main menu like this. And then all you have to do is go click on the X. You're going to see your applications. See, that's the ISO loader right there. You can go through all these on the home screen now. As long as you don't cut the thing off, that's it. Once you cut the thing off, you had to go through the paddle pond again. So, don't get mad if you cut it off and then come back. And then you're saying this don't work. And you see how it loads up just like that. Like a regular PSP game. So, I'm going to let you see this. See? This is what it's going to look like right here. Once my camera focuses in. Little Bit Planet and God of War. So, go to God of War. Click X and just wait for it to load. My freaking camera's going in and out. I don't know what the hell's going on, but there it goes. See, God of War. I've been playing. I was playing a little bit of it last night. So let me see. Uh oh, don't have no data. So oh well. New game. Look at it like a regular game that's it just let you know that it's not pop the tray in the back trying to do this shit with one hand and look nothing in it straight eyes so, so. Oh, exit out. 
that you see the custom firmware that it is. I guess that's what you call it, custom firmware, whatever. But system settings. Allow. Info. See. Ten hen. See. All right, people. This is what tells for. Don't be leaving all these comments on how to install it. These work on the 3000 versions, whatever. I got the 301 6.20, and I'm out. But before I'm out, rate in the corner, like right there. No, that subscribe. I want you to rate down there. Okay? Alright. This your boy Tulsa, and I'm out.